Good morning, Vatos. Thanks again for tuning in to yet another video. I'm Fimis coming at you live from the West Coast, and we are here today unboxing something from SNS. So I am very excited with my recent purchase. This is for the Low Rider S. I've been getting questions on social media. Is this for the Sports or is this for the Low Rider S? Which bike is it? It's for the Low Rider S. All right, so SNS Proven Performance 2. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, made in the USA. Of course, high quality stuff. And I'll make videos on uh, why I chose it, uh, comparing it to other options, stuff like that. But this is just the unboxing, just to kind of keep it short and sweet. So go ahead and open it. So let's see what's inside. So this is the kit, the 475 kit from SNS. You have QR codes up here. Those are for your instructions, I believe. Use your camera to scan QR code to view and print detailed instructions. So uh, I guess the instructions are not included in the box. So we get a little thank you card. Thank you, get lower cycles. A uh, little note, they always write these. Uh, let's see, we have some engine assembly loop which is nice, you're going to be using this quite a bit for the install. And we have the first little toy right here on the left. A beautiful plate. Man, that is just gorgeous. Uh, oh, it's upside down. So that is beautiful. Look at that. Bronze bushings. Uh, yeah, man, this is high quality. This is, of course, little clearance for your high lift cams. I'm this is a 475, so we don't have to get into the heads. This is basically a drop-in or, or a bolt-in cam. So we don't have to worry about lifting or removing the heads and changing the valves, the, the spring the spring valves. So, you know, quite unique. I'm not sure what this is for, but uh, what is this for? Man, it's, it's a good looking piece. So very, very impressive. That's the uh, plate. I guess that goes upside down. This side we have the pump. It's in plastic with the zip tie. All one piece. Man, no, another beautiful piece. Look at that. Another good looking piece. Solid piece. High quality stuff. Uh, I believe this is what it, you could adjust your oil pressure. I believe this I'm not entirely sure I'll have to look at the instructions or I'll have to see what's uh, what these parts do but yeah th I know this is the pump and we have more assem assembly lube there's there's two containers of assembly lube let's see what's is there anything else underneath this let's put the pump to the side and uh, yeah there is so we have let me move this as well we have that and we have oh cool i was gonna buy the uh, the gasket look at it's already included so we have the gasket and we have the cam bearing much better cam bearing all right so you have to swap out your cam bearing when you're doing this job uh it doesn't matter if you're doing it with the dropping cam or if you're doing anything or if you're not even doing the uh the plate or the pump or anything like that Get, or the or the or the chest whatever you want to call it get the cam bearing that's the one thing you you should change on your bike 100 change this to a, to the full uh full bearing cam uh bearing so change just swap this out all right get this changed if you're like i said if you're doing screaming eagle or you're doing anything just get this changed all right so you have the gasket pretty neat everything's in here another great piece high quality I, it just bugs me that harley really cheaps out on this thing when they could just put this i'm not going to rant all right but i mean harley you're already there i mean just put this in but then again i'll i'll, I'll get it into the explanation of why we're seeing these uh low quality parts on our bikes when they're supposed to be a premium product I, i'm not going to rant on this video but i, I am going to make a video about it we have the lifters the lifters right here included it looks like they're already uh, oiled but of course i'm going to drop them in an oil and make sure they're uh, ready and primed for the installation we have the rotator cuffs right here or the tappet cuffs another good piece it also has the gaskets all the uh all the hardware included as well you have the right and the left or the rear and the front that's the yeah that's the front that's the rear so you got that 
Uh, what else do we have in here? We have, what is this? Okay, this is the tensioner from SNS. Uh, so you, you don't have to use your OEM. It's quite nice. This is a chain kit, not a gear. That's the difference. 475C is chain, 475G is uh, gear driven. So if you have a gear driven, then it's going to be different parts. You're not going to have this. Uh, the only way for you to get a gear driven uh, uh, you know kit to work with your bike is you got to have a really tight tolerance on the run out so that's what I'm going to do I'm gonna see what's my run out on on my bike so that's the part that I'm waiting on I was supposed to get it yesterday and it was sent to Pebble Beach so we'll see if we can get it Monday instead and we have a SNS sticker it looks like it's all jacked up I, I have other ones of these because I've, I've been buying their um, their um, What's it called? They're uh, air breathers. Sorry. We have here the uh, the push rod covers and the quickie push rod. Uh, yeah, this just makes the job easier. If you get this, you don't have to get into the heads like I mentioned. If you're doing anything over a 500 lift, keep in mind this is 475, then you will have to get into your heads, and by then you can either decide to do the quickie push rods or just the the solid push rods. So there's the covers. You do have O-rings in there. Uh, you know, it looks like everything's provided. So high quality stuff. The reason why I went with the the black dot ones is so you know that uh, that uh, that that the uh, that the cam's been upgraded. Yeah, that, that's like one of the quick ways to kind of know if you're looking at a at a V-twin and they have the chrome covers, and then you don't know if it has any work done in it. If it has the black ones, typically, you know it. it you know it's it's been it's been worked on, or it probably has a stage two. I mean that's the way I, I see it. All right. So, quick quickie push rods just makes the job easier. Like I said, uh, these have been ridden in um, in performance bikes, so I'm not even too sure. Like I said, uh, as far as quality and adjustability, I, I think these are just fine. They, they've been running these for some time now. And people have been uh, using these quickie push rods for for a minute now. Like I said, I, if if they're you know if, if they're reliable with the high performance builds, then I'm pretty sure it's going to be reliable with my bike uh, or in anybody's bike. And you have some extra bolts. I'm not sure what these are for. I don't know where these go. Uh, oh, I, that, these might be for the uh, for the for the for the chest or the plate, whatever you want to call it. And we have over here the main star is there anything else in there nope uh the 475 uh cam so here it is of course you'll have to you know lube this up and get it prepped for installation so there it is right there sns 475 so very excited to uh put you know throw this bad boy in there and get some of that uh you know some of that response back since i've installed the uh the fairing the fairing weighs in about 18 to 20 pounds so i added a little bit of weight so i lost a little bit of uh you know responsiveness but once i put this in there i'm going to gain some of that back and we're looking at you know 100 horsepower and 120 foot pounds of torque because i'm using an aftermarket tune so yeah that's pretty much what's inside the box if you guys have any questions thanks for tuning in uh, stay tuned for the install videos and all the other stuff videos on why I chose it first ride first impressions all that good stuff and the tuning as well I'm gonna uh, film that as well because I do have the time the dyno the dyno jet power vision so uh, thanks for watching thanks for supporting the channel leave a like on the video if uh, you know this is you know if you want to share your own thoughts on the 475 465 or one of the other you know available cams out there go ahead and leave comments down below Ice the risk, get out there and ride. Later.